welcome back to another Wednesday Wisdom. I hope that your week is going good this far and it only gets a better. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. I do Wednesday Wisdoms every single Wednesday and I like doing these because I feel like they are just a fun and positive way to start your um, day and week and yeah, I enjoy making them. So for today, um, my quote is from Jonathan Van Ness, and if you don't know who that is, he's on a show on Netflix called Queer Eye, and um, it's a group of five um, gay guys who go out um, to various different cities and locations, and they help people who are super deserving, and just kind of help them get back to, um, you know, we're thinking about themselves and um, there are a lot of people who are very, very deserving of their help. And so you just have to watch it. It's on Netflix. It's called Queer Eye. Um, it's They have one that's just Queer Eye. And then they just came out with one that's called Queer Eye Japan. And they go to Japan and help people in Japan um, uh, doing the same thing that they're doing here in America. So um, if you guys want to hear the quote by Jonathan Van Ness, then just keep on watching. So for his quote, um, he said this, and uh, it looks like that he said it in episode five of season one, and it says, you're worth investing a few minutes in. It's not vanity, it's self-care, and there's a difference. You're worth investing a few minutes in. It's not vanity, it's self-care, and there's a difference. I think that this is a huge deal, because I think that a lot of people think that like I know some people think oh well I don't have to I'm just I don't want to look cute I, I don't need to look good for anybody else or and I feel like that's not what it's about for me when I get ready I never am thinking about oh what what will someone else look and think of me I always think like what makes me feel good and what I want myself to feel like um so I think that's important. I also think it's important because I, I'm i not a mom, but speaking for moms, um, I feel like a lot of times you guys get put on the back burner and that's okay because you guys have kids and you're trying to take care of them. But don't forget to do take care of yourself too. And when he's saying investing a few minutes, that could be anything. That could be applying a a lipstick that could be doing your hair really quick that could be putting on mascara that could be a face routine that could be maybe getting dressed in something different other than your regular running around kind of mom styled clothes and not saying any of that's like a bad thing if you don't do that but I think it's important to not forget that you're also a person and you also have needs too and I definitely think, especially specifically for mothers, that it definitely gets put on to the um, kind of back burner because you feel like you have, you're have you having to do for everyone else, um, which I feel like no, not everyone can totally understand how that feels, but maybe some people can. Um, I, As I said, I'm not a mom, but I definitely have people who are mom friends, my mom, you know, my sister, and just other people who are moms and just listening to them and like their routines in the morning or like just things that they're doing in general. It seems like they never ever say anything like, oh yeah, I put on some mascara today or I put on like a cute outfit um, and I feel really good. I feel like that's super important because if you can't take care of yourself, how are you supposed to take care of everyone else? Um, I know that... I feel kind of weird talking on behalf of moms just because I'm not one, but I feel like just as a person in general, because um, I know sometimes I do things where I forget um, forget myself too, like I'm always take care of the dog, even though it's not a big deal, but I'm like, get him ready, get this ready, and sometimes I forget like, oh, I have to do something for me, or and I feel like that can be anything. I, I just say like lipstick or mascara or a skin routine or something because that's usually can be done within a few minutes and or seconds. And that's just something that makes you feel good for the rest of the day. Like when you put, I mean, you don't have to wear makeup to feel great, but let's say that's something like for me, I get excited to put on makeup because not that I'm like I would be fine if I didn't wear makeup but I like to wear makeup because I feel like it's a finishing touch 
but everything else could be going kind of crappy but I know that I had makeup on all day and it made me feel good made me feel good look good everything all day long like the makeup did not go anywhere so I think that's super important and I just like that he says that it's not vanity it's self-care because I think people get the two confused like if you're against specifically talking about moms if you're saying like yeah I totally went and got um you know a lipstick I went and got my nails done and then some people are like oh why weren't you taking care of the kids because they're behind their that's all behind the scenes of everything that you do instead of at the forefront of exactly what you guys are doing um and I feel like you should that's self-care like sometimes you need to go out and get your nails painted or get your toes painted or I don't know eat a cheeseburger by yourself or just something I feel like that probably is really hard to like just even though everyone I'm everyone is so thankful for having moms and things like that because they do do so much but I also think that we forget like how much exactly they do so I think it's really important to say thanks to your mom um even if you're so let's say like your even if your dad was like maybe the main role in your life too I feel like thank him because there's a lot of things I'm sure that he kind of ruled out as far as self-care and I think think that it's essential a part at, for humans to be um to care and do self-care and be you know take care of yourself even though that sounds bad but you have to make sure that you're good before you can kind of help other people so if you're not feeling your 100 percent then you probably aren't being able to give your 100 percent to everyone else and i think that let's do a challenge for everyone, not just for moms or dads or whoever. This is for everyone. Um, and we don't have to, like, do the hashtag or anything like that. But let's just do a challenge that we ha are more self-aware and care more for ourselves. And make sure that we put ourselves a little bit first sometimes, too. And that's not a bad thing to do that. I feel like it's very important and essential in everyday, like life is to make sure that you're okay too because if you're ignoring problems or if you're kind of putting yourself on the back burner eventually that's going to catch up to you and it's going to be harder to get you back to where you need to be versus just doing it now so you're worth investing a few minutes in it's not vanity it's self-care and there's a difference and I definitely think this quote is something that we all should plaster on our mirror and have it everywhere because it's super true and I hope that if you are a parent or whoever out there want you know seeing this that you know that it's important to take care of yourself too don't forget about you um because if you can't take care of yourself how the heck are you going to take care of everyone else um so I definitely like this quote he always has really good they all do have really great advice and quotes about um, confidence and just taking care of yourself and a lot of self-care um, quotes because it is a thing that is forgotten amongst all of us is to worry about us too because we all want to take care of other people that we forget that we have to take care of us too. So I definitely would recommend watching Queer Eye on um, Netflix. It's a really great show and I feel like even no matter what your beliefs or anything like that is, I feel like everyone needs to hear what they are putting out there for everyone. And so I definitely would recommend watching Queer Eye. Um, and I know that it's helped me a lot um, just watching the videos um, as far as just being wanting to be more confident, new style tips. They just have all kinds of things that are super refreshing on there. So Definitely go on Netflix, watch Queer Eye, watch Queer Eye Japan. It's so good. Um, but I am going to end this now because I like these to be short and simple so you can get about your day. Um, but I hope you guys have a better day and an awesome week. And I will see you next Wednesday on the next Wednesday Wisdom. Bye!